The Apostle Paul saying, there is no question about this at all. This has nothing to do with God caring about the oxen feeding. This completely has to do with us. Now, it would be a right thing to do to let the ox eat of the work that it's doing, right? That, that's a, a principle that's, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But he's saying that's not the point at all. And, you know, God's giving this wisdom and instruction for people. God's giving us his holy word. God gives us his spirit. God gives us, you know, things that he doesn't give the animals. Animals exist, and they're part of God's wonderful creation, and that's awesome. But he's given us control and dominion over all the world. Look at Genesis chapter 1, verse number 27. The Bible reads, I mean, this is, this is the first chapter of the Holy Bible. Is where we get this information from very clearly. Verse 27, so God created man in his own image, and the image of God created he him. Male and female created him. Sounds kind of special and unique to me. There's all these other creatures and everything else that God made, but you know what? He made man in his own image. In his <laughs> own image. You're going to be a reflection of me. You're gonna, I'm, this is my special creation that I want to take after me, that I want to look up to me, that I want to love me, that I want on this earth to reflect and represent me. God's image. That's what he wants. That's what he created us for. And then it says in verse 28, And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it. Again, it's putting the earth in subjection under us. And have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. God has given mankind the authority to have dominion over all of these things and what a backwards god hating world is going to do is flip this on its head to where creatures and animals start to have more rights and are elevated to the status of a human being or above when god told us no you have dominion over these things they don't have dominion over you you know you know you got such crazy things happening these days. You got these, you know, police dogs or whatever. Like if someone does something with these dogs, it's like they killed a, a person, a human being. And they're going to be sentenced and punished accordingly as if, as if they killed a, a person. Again, I'm not all for just like, you know, just senselessly killing animals. But you know, if God's given us dominion, that's our right to be able to do something like that. I'm not saying it's right, but if it's under our domain, if it's under our control, then it's under our control. And if God has given us the ability to, to subdue the earth, you know what that means? It means I should be able to build. I should be able to, to invest and develop. And in, in if there's land that's just not being used, then we could use it and have dominion over it and, and make it, Make it adv advantageous to people. There's nothing wrong with, with doing that, and God has given us the authority to do that. Now, in one sense, we always have to be wise about just the environment in general that God has created, understand how it all works, so that we can do things that are ultimately going to be beneficial for us, that, that it all works together. We need to have, you know, trees for oxygen and things, you know, but... God has created a lot of trees. <laughs> God has created a lot of things. And, you know, we can't get too, you know, worried and brainwashed by the people who freak out over, like, every one tree that's cut down or every animal that's killed or whatever. And uh, that's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. We need to understand our place on this earth that God has given us. And, and be able to step into that role and not have to worry about someone else coming after us because you eat meat or you, you know, whatever.